right guys I am in the car and I am on my way to take my godmother her aprons I'm excited I'm always excited to give the gifts that I make for people to them so heading over there and I'll see you in her living room Also guys, don't laugh at me, but I had to put this in a Walmart bag because I ripped the holiday bag that I had up, so don't laugh at me. <laughs> Hello! How are you? Good! Good, I put my mask on just okay. in case. Is it slippery out there? No, it's good. Okay, it's good. Oh, Friday. How are you? I'm okay. Good. I got this for you. I ripped the bag, so oh, I put it in a okay. Walmart bag. Oh, my goodness. So go ahead and. Okay, oh, wow. Come on in and. Thank you. I got my little camera running. Oh no! Oh, it's okay. You I look good. No, you look no, good. I look like a <laughs> ragamuffin. <laughs> no. These are so pretty. I love it. Cherries. This is so cute. That's why he needs a tailored recipe for my house to help him stay fit. My house, who I am. Okay, this goes like this. Why Walgreens? Okay. With co-pays as low as zero dollars, Isn't that cute? And you can adjust that next. Oh, yes. I'm set. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Love it. Uh, there's some yeah. different daisies. Yeah. Oh, Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Talisha and I'm also known as Creativity by T on Instagram and here on YouTube. And in today's video, I'm going to share my most recent projects, which are aprons that I made. I made two aprons as Christmas gifts to my godmother. I didn't get a chance to get them done during the holiday season because I got sick and I didn't get started on the project soon enough. And then when I got better, I just didn't have the energy to do it. But it is now done and I'm here to share it with you. So um, I made these aprons by using an It's So Simple McCall's pattern and the style number is L9444. And I'll show you that right here. And the pattern package includes an adult and child size apron. And it also includes an oven mitt pattern for both adult and children. And the pattern is a one size fits all for both the child and the adult. And the amount of fabric needed for the adult size fabric that I used was one and a third yard and the child requires seven eighths of a yard. And the pattern suggestions include denim, cotton, twill, or calico. And I used cotton fabrics that I purchased from Walmart as well. And um, like I said, I've also picked up the pattern from Walmart but although I purchased the pattern from Walmart, there are so many different patterns that have the same design that you can use from the Simplicity line, McCall's, or even the Berta brand. So um, it's a very, very general apron pattern. And uh, my godmother actually requested these aprons. She said that she's an apron person and she loves to wear them. And when I asked what type of prints that she likes on her apron, she named things like flowers, cooking utensils, and you know, things of that nature. So when I browsed through what Walmart had in their fabric section, I just picked out these cherries and daisies. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you those right now. So this is the first um one which is a the daisies so this is the fabric right here and i'll put better pictures up for your viewing purposes
and then the other fabric are cherries. So I thought those were two good picks that, um, you know, like if they get dirty or if food gets on them, you know, you wouldn't see the stains if it did stain. So that's one of the reasons why I picked these out in addition to what she likes. The apron features a back facing, two pockets on the front, and it also has a casing with two openings on the top for you to put the tie in. So here is the back facing. As you can see, and it goes from underneath the armhole, the top, and all the way to the other end. So yeah. And then the casing, you can't really uh, see it because of, I don't have a contrasting thread, but the casing runs from the bottom of the facing, so right here, all the way up and it diagonals like right here this is where you where you kind of sew from there to here and then there's two holes as you can see where the strap is hanging out so there's a hole here or opening i should say an opening here and an opening here for the ties to go through and then i just used a well you can use a safety pin but i have a tool that i use to kind of thread this through. It's very long and I can get that and show it to you later. But I just pull it down and then there's your, the remainder of the strap. So you put this over your head, you tie this around, the ties around your back and you can bring it to the front if it's too big. So in order to make the tie, you need to cut out two pattern pieces on the fold, but I cut out three to make it extra long per her request uh, to make sure that it she had plenty of room to wrap around her body. And that was the only change that I made to this particular pattern. Um, it was very easy to make. I thought it was a great idea for a gift for those who like to cook and bake. I didn't even think about it on my own. So that was a very good suggestion and I can use that in the future for other people. Um, I would definitely make it again. I actually have plans to make it again even for myself because I don't even have an apron and I do cook and I absolutely love to bake. If you've watched any of my vlogs you've seen where I've incorporated some of my bakes so yeah that's gonna be nice um, I am thinking that I could probably have made this faster if I had lined the whole entire apron versus just putting a facing on the back and it would also made it heavier and thicker um, so if I made any changes to it in, in the future that's what that would be would to be actually fully lining uh, this pattern and by making it thicker it would provide better protection should something spill so I think I'm going to do that next time and just use inexpensive fabric as the lining just to see how that works out but I don't have any issues making it the way that it currently suggests or the way it's designed uh, to be made because it was super duper easy so you know it's still a win um, I definitely recommend the pattern and I feel like this is a very very useful pattern I think I said that earlier and I again definitely gonna make one for myself and for others and I think that's about it um, so I'll go ahead and show you some more pictures I hope this uh, video was helpful and I hope you enjoyed this review and if you have not already done so I invite you to subscribe to my channel and click the like button and the gray notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a video thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye